Why are baby teeth so important? They are, after all, temporary teeth. They do shed eventually. So what makes baby teeth so important and so vital? What makes it so I have a job as a pediatric dentist? Well, it's simple, actually. Baby teeth are the precursors to permanent teeth. In fact, most permanent teeth need those precursors in order to develop. Baby teeth save room for permanent teeth to come into the jaw, to keep the jaw at equal distance from each other, to help us maximize our air intake, which we need to breathe and to live. And they also help us to chew our food. Not only bite into and tear food, but to chew it and help masticate and begin that process of digestion. Teeth are vital. They help us to smile. They help us communicate with each other. Speech is very difficult without teeth. Baby teeth are, though, however, produced in a quick amount of time. At about five to eight weeks in utero, baby teeth begin to develop, whereas permanent teeth begin to develop shortly thereafter, around 20 weeks in utero, but they do not come into the mouth until age six, whereas primary teeth, or baby teeth, come into the mouth almost at birth or six months thereafter. Because the baby teeth are produced so much more quickly, quality is decreased. They are, after all, a temporary tooth. They don't need to serve a lifespan like a permanent tooth does. But because a permanent tooth has longer to develop, its quality is higher, and it has a much thicker, almost double the thickness of the hard outer covering as a baby tooth. So a baby tooth is more prone to acid or plaque and tooth decay. Because of that, it's more important that a baby tooth or a child with baby teeth see their dentist on a regular basis, even more important than it would be for an adult. Even de dental radiographs or x-rays are vital for baby teeth and actually need more dental radiographs as a child than you do as an adult. Again, remember, the outer covering of a baby tooth is much thinner, much uh, smaller, so it doesn't take much to break through and enter the, enter the um, pulp tissue, which is the nerve and blood supply of the tooth. One reason that is so vital to prevent is once infection, bacteria, reach that nerve center, it is a highway to the rest of our body. So it can cause a bacteremia or a blood infection that can travel anywhere in the body. Because the teeth are close to our brain, brain abscesses can and do develop, septic shock can develop, and eventually even death. Cellulitis or facial swelling is very severe in children because children have smaller airways and so any swelling at all can actually decrease the air intake or cause death too. Baby teeth must be taken seriously and so once a cavity does form, once a tooth has lost enough calcium that the outside coating crumbles away and you're left with a cavity or cave-like structure on the tooth, a filling must be performed immediately. It's never a good idea to just watch and wait and see what a cavity will do. Because all you will do is watch it get bigger and at some point, pain and infection can and do occur. So baby teeth are vital to us. And they not only serve, serve us well in those temporary years from age you know, birth or even six months all the way up to about age six, but they actually will even serve us longer. We'll have some baby teeth even up to age 12 to 13 it's important to have these teeth function in a healthy way. We know that the mouth, when it is at its absolute most healthy, it makes the rest of our body grow and shine too. When our mouth is not healthy, it can affect many systems, our endocrine system, our cardiovascular system. It can make it for a young child who's just beginning life in so many ways, and it's so critical at those young years to have the maximum and best health possible that to have any setback, especially an infectious disease such as oral decay, really severe and can affect the body and its growth and its capacity to grow over time. So see your pediatric dentist often, at least twice a year. See what your child needs as far as preventative measures. Twice a year is adequate for most patients, those patients that brush at least twice a day for two minutes each and floss once a day. However, there are some patients that are high risk for decay. If your child is one of them, your pediatric dentist may want to see them more often and customize a prevention regime just for them. It's important to keep kids healthy. Again, a healthy child is a happy child, and a happy child will eventually take their children to the dentist and their children's children, and it's a good win-win for generations to come. 
help us help you. Call a pediatric dentist and make an appointment today.